the general public needs to change that perception and embrace it because because you see don't just look at how much you're spending but how, what are you getting because you're saving time that's why we have some people who fly in from Arua every day come to Entebbe do business and go back with companies such as Bar Aviation, Aerolink Uganda and they do it almost on a daily so it's worth every penny you put in and if you go to countries like South Sudan people use planes to go for barrio Ever since those very bad years of COVID, 2020, 2021, we have seen aviation industry trying to come back, though not to those levels of pre-COVID, but at least we see ourselves, well as actually pre-COVID figures, we were having an average of 5,000 passengers, at least in our main international airport here, at NTV, that number went as low as 50 passengers, in fact, as low as zero, at least for commercial passengers. Then we came to 50 passengers, we came to 1,000 passengers. Now we are in between 4,000 and 4,020 passengers. We are just too happy and we are going to continue doing this to make sure the aviation industry is better understood, people participate in it, it develops our country, and one thing you must realize that aviation has the cap capacity to link even landlocked countries to other areas, even in a much faster way. The government of Uganda, headed by His Excellency Yoweri well, Kakuta Museveni, established 13 air drones, 13 in strategic locations across the country to encourage domestic flights. And I'm telling you today that the government has put aside some money in the next financial year to upgrade six of these airplanes.